Well, our research started with a mobility assistance exoskeleton with motors at the hips and the knees for a sagittal plane uh, motion. And we were able to provide mobility assistance for uh, two persons with SCI complete injuries. So uh, they had a little extremity paralysis and not able to walk on their own. And after doing our research with that robot, we, needed to, we realized we needed to make some advances uh, so that we could do more significant research and get some more capabilities out of our next robot. So in our collaboration with NASA Johnson Space Center, we designed a robot called X1 Exoskeleton, which also has motors at the hips and the knees, but it also has some advantages. A few of them include that uh, the person can do a self-transfer, so we designed special cuffs at the shin, which enable the user to transfer from a wheelchair into the X1 in a seated position. We also tested standing up and sitting down or sit to stand and stand to sit transfers from the exoskeleton. Uh, the X1 has more capabilities in terms of torque and speed. It's a more compact device in the sense of width so that the user can go through narrower passageways. The device is also kind of more productized in a sense that it doesn't have exposed wires and it uh, makes it easier to adjust so that we can have the user fitted and then adjusted in about a span of 15 minutes. So the X1 device was designed to be a research tool for human-assisted or wearable robotic uh, research areas. Uh, one, of course, includes mobility assistance for someone with a paralysis, but we also designed it to be able to be used with people who are able-bodied, and it could either provide assistance to them or resistance to their motions. And the reason you'd want to provide assistance is if someone's carrying a heavy load or maybe they have a weakness, a paresis, then the device can assist them on Earth. But NASA's interest in using this device is for a resistive or kind of the anti-assist mode. So someone in a microgravity climate could put on this device and it, this device would either provide exercise or simulate gravity so that it could be a countermeasure against muscle and loss and bone density loss while exposed to microgravity climates for extended periods of time.